Here we're looking at a 2024 Antedra Riata 39BH at the 2024 FRVTA Florida Super Show in Tampa, Florida. And let's look to the outside of this real quick. Here's a quick view of the floor plan. And here we're going to look at the bays from the passenger side. This one's got a pull out drawer. And this one here, you see these are all lined with carpet. Here is the bay with your fresh water tank. And here's another bay right here. And here is the electric bay and also access to your engine filters, etc. here. Now we're gonna close this up. You can see the slam latch lowers for the most part are easy to close. Here we go. You see how they're going right there? It's beautiful. All right. All right, and it's time to go inside and check this coach out. So here we go inside. There's some little, here's your main power switch here and some lights, as well as a phone holder and some USB connections here. And here we go, and look who it is, it's Marie. I bet they're not surprised by that anymore. <laughs> anyway, I know cold, I am. <laughs> cold day in Tampa. Whoa, I get the inside job, so that's kind of nice. Uh, let's start down here since I'm sitting. Um, they obviously had taken the keys out for the night and haven't put them back, so I couldn't turn on the engine. But I'm going to assume, since it's an Integra, that it is a that's digital, a digital display. Dash. It has a bit of a cover on it right now. Yes, I thought it was a digital dash. You have your normal remotes up here, your windshield wiper, your uh, screens and your views, your uh, um, cruise control. It's early. I need more coffee, dear. Okay, over here we have our automatic leveling. And we also have some accent light switches. Over here we have shade operators, day and night. And over here we have our battery boost and uh, a and pedal slide. The pedal adjust, adjust the pedals. Yes, isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Over here we have our camera, backup camera radio. We also have our air conditioning switches. We do have a couple um, cigarette sockets, uh, yeah, yeah. sockets if you smoke. And a, another one that uh, my fingers aren't kept capturing it just right this morning. Well, I do not think those are meant for smoking as much as they are for 12 volt devices. Well, you're right. This one is kind of actually, I think it's okay. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> there's, there, there's a plug there, guys. If you know what it is, let us know. And down here we have a drawer for your spare change and maps, etc. Okay. Chairs are quite comfy, very nice. And there's overhead. A 120 volt socket right there. Okay, we have that's three overhead of, cabinets. That's one of the reps from Integrated Motor Coach. Yes. Three it's, cabinets over the tab here, and here is your satellite connection. And there's, there's actually uh, two cabinets on either side, but because of the bed, we cannot access them. I assume right, that is I just for, for above storage, the upper bunk. Storage above the bunk. So saying that, you can see there is an upper bunk up here. When this comes down, they'll be able to access those it's, additional cabinets. It is very cabinets. interesting. I'm not sure, you know, I just is actually moving down now. It actually moves down yes, here. But yes, yes. You can see here. Okay, see now you can access those two cabinets Add those plus two the cabinets three cabinets here and right there they go nicely but obviously the risk is if you ever have them open and you bring the bunk up i'm not Ooh. sure there's any safety switches that would prevent that from obviously uh good point Dev definitely check check that over here we have the dinette set and there are the uh sound bar above you have a small cabinet here the electronics are on that side and this actually is passed through on all three openings here. Yeah, but since you got the electronics there, you probably won't pass through when you have your TV connections and line guard stuff over on the side. Ooh, sorry about that, folks. On either side of the TV set, which is on a televator, you have cabinets with two adjustable shelves. You do have your table, which adjusts into a bed. And both sides, the seats lift up, so you have storage. Okay, across the way, we have our jackknife sofa. So we got your little drink holders right here. Pretty comfortable. Straight shots of the TV set, which I always love. They have a nice design on the roof here, uh, a more of a darker camel brown kind of, 
and a the lights around it. It's kind of nice. It kind of accents the whole area. Over in this area, we have our kitchen. And I'm going to start at the top and work myself down. I well, didn't forget we, to mention we, there's three cabinets. There's th here the cabinets over the uh, couch that we forgot about. There you go. And these are pass through. And what's this? It's this, a cabinet over the kitchen. It's a cabinet over the kitchen. And here's your microwave. Convention oven. Yep, see right here. And over on this side, you do have a place to store your dishes and your cups. It does have an induction top stove. You got your sink. Below your sink, you actually have two cabinets. So you got a big space to store big crock pots, uh, instant pot, whatever underneath there. You have a small cabinet next to it it's really nice for trays of any type and here is a really big drawer deep drawer for pots and pans and also there. your convection uh oven parts parts and now you do have a um island that slides out i won't slide it out all the way because i'll just have to push it back in and it does have three drawers as you can see they're all three are quite long same size so i'm not going to open up the other two okay right across from that we have our residential refrigerator. Looks like a beauty. It is a Samsung. And you can see the inside, nice, new, and shiny. I sure do wish my refrigerator looked like that. And uh, here we go, look at this. Keeps things from sliding. You can adjust this and, and move things around. And then you've got your bottom one, which also has a tray. So plenty of ways to sort it and store it. Right next to it, we have a pantry with fixed shelves. Oh, I take that back, they're adjustable, and I just looked at this too. Um, so you can see the shelves there, they are adjustable. Going farther down, we have bunk beds. Bunk beds, and they bunk actually beds. And, um, raise and lower there. They do raise and lower, this one goes up, and uh, we don't need to mess with everything, dear. I guess we do need to mess with everything. Well, it's kind of interesting to show it, that's all. See, there's the lower bunk, and that way you can pull it up, I guess, if you want additional storage. There's no closet rod in here, so I'm not exactly sure how that would work. Well, you can always put a closet rod in there. You also can take out a bed. You can make this a uh, computer area, pet well, storage. It's nice to know it's got solid doors. You can lock the kids away if you want to. <laughs> can I lock you away? <laughs> <laughs> okay, over here we have our touch panel screen. Don't know what this orange tape means. I think it means contagious and you just touched it. You're in trouble. No, I think it means don't go in here. Okay. <laughs> okay, then don't go. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, I meant don't go in here. <laughs> okay, here's our medicine cabinet, mirror both sides, and it's about uh, four inches deep. And at one corner actually has some of the uh, circuit control panels stuff back fire, there. Firefly direction, but okay. okay. We do have a sink. Toilet paper roll. There are three shelves here that are adjustable. And then we also have the space, of course, below the sink. So this is a nice half bath. Plenty of room here to sit. We're good. Let's see, let's check out the master bedroom. One of my favorite places to check because I get to pop myself for a few minutes. Now, very interesting. This actually has a little stoop here at the end of the bed. This is for sitting. You're sitting and it's and the so same when the bed your, is up. Yeah, so if you're, you know, you sit and put your shoes on. Um, I can think of some other uses that are not mentionable. And um, <laughs> let's continue on. <laughs> Where is my mind this morning? I okay. don't know. We do have three pass-through cabinets and they're quite deep. I could not reach the back. I'd have to crawl in the bed and uh, there is a plug outlet up there. And here is a control panel underneath. Somebody in? Yes. And um, the bed's going to continue on. Well, here we have in the bedroom, we got two drawers here. All right, and here we have the TV above here. And I think there actually is, it actually does come out. But I'm not sure we, there is some a Sony Blu-ray player back here. And we also have a very big wardrobe right here. Yes, and the shelves are adjustable, so you can move them up or down. Mm -hmm. Okay, and did you get the drawers? I didn't get this drawer. Okay, we have a drawer below the wardrobe. 
And uh, then we're going to step into the bathroom here. There is a step up, so be careful, folks. Well, one with intervention, there are two side cabinets here on either side. Uh, I think at this point there is an, a, uh, an outlet on the side for you to plug in your devices. Okay. So now we're going to try to end the shower. Hopefully my volume will be good as we should out the microphones today. Hey, I'm in the shower, but I did this shower actually a 5 out of 10. Ooh. And this is because, look at the uh, manifold faults, it's right at my neck level. How on earth would I wash my hair? <laughs> and I think that, you see right here, there's not a lot of space here between to move my head back and forth. I'm not sure if you can so see I that. So I probably would bonk my head, aside from the DAT bar. So that's three demerits right there, minimally. And so, yeah. Okay, in the meantime, we have a nice big wide kitchen, uh, kitchen. Kitchen. Bathroom, We're in the kitchen with a shower, yes. <laughs> We do have a medicine cabinet with a couple inches. It's not good, folks, when we start the day off mislabeling things. Uh, I got sidetracked to folks. There was a lady in here cleaning them up for the show, and she came in, and we were trying to make sure we were out of her way, but she has a job to do, and we don't want to interfere. So I kind of got sidetracked. I apologize. So we have a drawer here, and we do have a cabinet here. Ooh, now, this is kind of nice because look at this nice pullouts. Wow, look at that. that yeah, and out. it goes all the way back the length of the shower. So that's really nice. And there's two pullouts like this. In the same way. Same, yeah, same see how long they are? So you put those shampoo bottles on there and whatnot and just pull them out. Yeah, I love that. Very nice. Okay, the toilet area is, is great. Plenty of space. In fact, when I leave, I'd have to get all the way on the toilet just to lean back. You could probably fall Actually, asleep that's a there. Nice, nice, nice comfy spot, yeah. Okay, I'll talk, talk to you later, dear. Okay, but <laughs> well, in the meantime. Well, there's a, one more, there's a shower a tower, a shower bar, a tower, a towel bar above her. And we just want to thank wait, you wait, for wait, watching. Wait, 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 no, wait, no, no, no. We forgot, we forgot one more thing. Oh my god. The gosh. washer and dryer. The washer and dryer. How do we forget that? Hey, look. Not many of you see this, but here's inside the washing machine. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Yeah. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And thank you for those who stayed near the end and watched this walkthrough. We thank you so much. And remember to open the doors to adventure. And start all your journeys with us, the RVTs. And before you shut it off, it's a dryer, not a washer. The washer's down here. Anyway. Have I, a good stand, day. <laughs> I stand corrected. Have a great day, folks. Bye-bye.